This reading shows the miracle of Jesus' power over nature. He turns the water into wine. When we look at where the water is contained, it's in these cisterns that are 25 to 30 gallons each. And it had only ever had water in it. They were pure, just like the wineskin. In those times, they would put wine in a new wineskin, not in an old one. The old one would burst. This shows that these cisterns were pure. It was the first time wine had ever been in them. They would not burst, of course. The amount of wine that Jesus made would probably be enough for 5,000 people. The same as when he had turned the five loaves of bread and the fish and then had filled the baskets so that 12 baskets were full. There was also almost 5,000 people there. So now the water that has become wine and the bread that had fed almost 5,000, both of these where he shows his control over nature. These miracles, they come before what is to be the Last Supper, where he turns the wine into what becomes our spirit and the bread, which is his body. These are gifts that he shares with us. It represents his passion, how he gives his body for us. Also, when I look in this reading, there's not very many occasions where Mary has written word in, in the Bible that we look at now. The first thing that she says in this reading is, they have no wine. And I believe she's literally referring to not just wine as a spirit that you would consume, but they have no wine, meaning they have no spirit. So he turns this water into what becomes uh, part of our salvation. The Eucharist and the wine is in the mystery of what becomes our salvation. What Jesus says with his body when he turns the water into his wine is he's going like this. And you can apply this action to a number of events in a person's life. So whether he's turning the water into the wine or healing the leper or the blind man, when Jesus puts his hand out like this, and we do the same with his spirit in us, we can provide healing for others also. So what a person says with their body is a blessing. The second thing that Mary says in this reading, she says, do whatever he tells you. So we are to follow what Jesus says. We are to edify him and live like him and do like him and speak like him, and be like him, and pray like him, and heal, and bless in everything that Jesus does.